Hello everyone. I wanted to get on here really quick. Um, I believe the wedding is about to start. Jesus is coming back for his bride, the church. We need to be ready, not lukewarm. Um, we need to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, and mind. In Matthew 22, um, the Lord told me in a dream to read Matthew 22, and it says the wedding is about to start. Um, invite people to the wedding. Some people won't care. They'll be going to the merchandise and going to the farms and they don't care that the wedding is about to start. You will invite them and you know, they don't care. And, um, which is really sad. Um, I give these tracks out to people that, um, you know, I believe just anybody in the store or, um, family members, you can leave them on their counter. Um, they sell them at Christian bookstores and, it gives the gospel in here and they might not want to hear it from you, but if you give them this, they might, you know, tuck it in their pocket and read it later and get saved. Um, I've been very hopeful with those tracks, um, that that's a good way to witness even to family. Um, I wanted to say that the most absolutely biggest reason I believe the rapture is like so near, like minutes or hours or days away is because of this two moon um, thing in the sky for for years two or three years I've heard videos of people having two moon dreams and there's a compilation of different two moon dreams from a year ago and two years ago um, and this is a big huge sign that we are leaving and I'm so excited I want to be with Jesus I want to thank him for suffering on the cross for me and um, I'm just so excited, and we all are, and we've been waiting and disappointed and disappointed with dates when they come and go, but I believe this is it. This this really is it, and I wanted to share that my husband and my daughter had a two-moon dream. My daughter, my husband's was a little bit more um, quick, and my daughter's was pretty detailed you know it was like two years ago and I did make a video on it but it was my, with my husband's phone and um I think he had erased it by now but she was um speaking of it in the video and it didn't get very many views because I don't think I labeled it right but um there was a big moon huge coming down to to earth she was like in a school and they were having a snowball fight and the moon was just huge and you know it was like it was almost going to squish the people it was really huge and then there was another moon in the sky and she said it was like a half moon or something and then um she saw a subway and the subway was like i'm assuming new york city and it was just floating garbage and water just deep deep water in the subways and a little girl was drowning and she um was trying to save this little girl. I don't know how old the little girl was, but um, she reached out her hand and tried to help her and tried to tell her about Jesus. And she didn't want to hear about Jesus. And that's so sad to me. I've talked to little kids before and I say, do you know who Jesus is out on the playground and stuff? And they don't have any idea who Jesus is. And it's just heartbreaking that these little children, I mean, I believe that if they're little, they will um, go in the rapture, but and, um, we have to tell our children and our grandchildren about the Lord, um, pray with them. And, um, there's a verse that says, um, ask the father to draw them to himself and, and with adults and loved ones. And, and, you know, the, the Holy spirit needs to draw these people to himself. And, um, so I just wanted, and I think it's John, um, for uh, I can't remember it right now, but that wasn't the point of my video. But um, this is the biggest reason I believe that we, this is it. We're going, you know, um, the Lord loves us and he wants to warn us. We don't know the day or the hour, but can we know the week? The Bible says, you know, the seasons, we can discern the times and the seasons. Why can't we discern when Jesus is coming back for his bride, the church? Um in Matthew 22, it says, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, and mind. We need to know him um, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God. And um, so we really need to be close to the Lord and seek him. Forget about things that occupy our time. I mean, 
it's all vanity, you know, unless it's about Jesus and growing closer to him and telling others about him. I believe so much of it is vanity and it's not going to mean anything in eternity. And we're probably going into eternity very quickly. Um, like I believe very, very quickly, obviously, and we all do and we're all hopeful, but I wanted to share the, the biggest reason, like I said, is the planet, um, or the two moons, the two moon dreams. God loves us. He's warning us. He's showing us, um, it's merciful and kind of God to show us these signs. Um, the other one is the perfect red heifers. I mean, they have to be sacrificed before three years old, I believe, according to the Old Testament. And they're almost three. And the Euphrates River is drying up. Off the curb had, um, he's out of um, the UK. And he had a wonderful video about the Euphrates River drying up. And the before and after pictures. And he also gives the plan of salvation. So um, that's where the demons are locked underneath chained underneath the river Euphrates that's going to come out in the great tribulation and kill a third of all mankind. And, um, there was also the New York city climate clock. It's ticking. Um, I don't know how many years it says is left on the climate clock, but life can't go on much longer than that because the, the planet is heating up. I mean, that's another reason, um, we're seeing floods and, and, um, because of climate change and, and, you know, food is drying up and crops and, um, either drought or we're seeing flooding. And, um, that's a big, huge sign too. And agenda 2030, um, where everybody is supposed to have a digital ID by 2030, um, in the hand or in, you know, the head, um, Elon Musk is doing um, brain implants, and this is all falling into place. I mean, the mark of the beast is spoke of in Revelation, and we're we're like here. This is it. Um, that's another huge reason that we are leaving soon, and um, dreams and dreams and visions are increasing in these last days. He said he'll pour out a spirit on all flesh. Um, I've had it, and many people have had it. And the Lord showing us and warning us because he loves us. Um, it doesn't mean that these people are more special or va valued with God. But he says, if you ask for wisdom, God will give it to us liberally. And um, some have maybe asked and haven't received dreams or visions for whatever reason. But um, keep praying about it. And um, the pestilences, you know, we know, of course, 2020 and um the monkey and, um, you know, the pestilences and, uh, the fig tree generation is huge because it says, um, that a generation is 80 years and we're coming up to that 80 year mark by the time the tribulation is through, it's going to be 80 years. Um, that's huge in the Bible. It can't be another 10, 15, 20 years. Um, so the eclipse on April 8th is no coincidence. Um, there was, we all know about, you know, the reasons with Salem and the first one in 2017, Jerusalem and Nineveh and rapture cities. Um, the eclipse went through, made a big X across America. Um, the one world cover currency and the digital dollar is practically here. Um, in some states, it might be already happening. And, and um, so in the peace treaty, the Abraham Accord was signed in 2020. But I know that they keep renewing it and um, keep adding to it and adding um, c countries to it. Um, so peace in the Middle East. Um, there's so many signs of um, Jesus coming back. And this is just you know, a few that I thought of, um, but this two moon dream is the biggest, um, two moon dreams and, um, many people, hundreds have had them and Jesus is coming in the clouds very soon. Um, know him and, um, know his word and tell others. And, um, I just, 
I just thank you for listening and I just wanted to make this short and um, have a good day and we'll see you soon. All right. Bye.